level one of what you can do. We'll be back onto your elbows. You can just go ahead and kick out one leg, bring it back in, okay? Exhale out. Inhale in. Two more times. Exhale out. Inhale in. Squeeze that core. Belly button towards the spine. I'll tell you why later. Okay, you can stay here or you can move with me up onto your tailbone. And you're going to reach those arms forward, lengthen the neck. Here we go. Bring it forward. Lean back. Bring it back in. Exhale out. Inhale in. Let's take it a little quicker. Push and in. Feel that little shake when you come back. I love it. And push. Get those toes. Nice form. Good work. Okay, so I was telling you, you need to really set that belly button in towards the spine because that's how you're going to work those transverse abdominals. Put them in there. The best way to work them is by sucking in. I say that all the time, but it's true. So even if you're not doing Pilates, you suck in when you're at work when you're at school. It makes you seem taller and slimmer, so why not? And eight. Seven. Feel those quads too, right? Four more. And four. Squeeze the core. Three. Feel those lower abs. Two. And one. Bring those knees in and go ahead and lie back on your mat. Hands forward, tuck that chin in and slowly roll down. Vertebrae by vertebrae. I'm actually going to grab onto this block. You don't need to have one, okay? This is just for demonstration. Now, this one is called Shins to the Air. I'm going to place this here just so you see that I'm not doing anything funky with my legs, okay? What you're going to do, it's a very small movement, is basically lift your tailbone up a little bit, hold it, and right back down. I don't know if you can see, but I am shaking when I do that, okay? So lift up the tailbone, like half an inch, hold it, and let it shake, relax the upper body, and bring it down. Boom! And bring it up. Hold it, squeeze. Notice that I'm not kicking my legs back, okay? Boom! That's good. Inhale. Exhale, bring it up. Hold. Good. All right. Now when you hold, let's focus on bringing that belly button in. Squeeze it. Last one. Ten seconds. Here we go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Let it shake. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Bring it down. Very nice. Okay. A little bit more movement now. Cross those ankles, point the toes, and take the knees to the skull, and right back down to the hips. So notice this is my starting position. I'm going to bring the knees up to the skull, and then we're going to right back down over the hips, but it's not starting position. We're never resting in this one. Okay, let's give it a shot. Here we go. Push it up, and slowly back down. Push it up, and back down. If you can't do this, use your hands. Push yourself up, and slowly let yourself down. Push. Nice and slow. Again. Exhale. Take it up down. Okay, a little quicker. Here we go. Pulse and down. Pulse and down. Squeeze. You guys want those nice lower abs? You're going to do this. Don't quit on me. Push and down. You're getting stronger, okay? Do as many as you can. Come on. Eight. Seven. And six, come on. Five, four, three, two, last one. One, nice. Lengthen the arms, lengthen the legs, inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Good, one more time. Okay, we're now gonna straighten out those legs and do the same thing. Um, you can stay with what we just did or you can move on. Cross the ankles or legs together, it doesn't matter to me. Hands by your side, inhale. Exhale, we're gonna take those legs up and slowly back down to the hips. Here we go. Bring it up and slow it down. Bring it up. Slow it down. Good. So that part when you're going right down, that's when you're resisting, okay? That's when you're really working it. So lengthen that time if you can. I love these mashups. I love trying to figure out what song it is, obviously. You know, this is easy, but there's one in here, I'm gonna ask you what it is in just a sec. Push and slow. Again. Push and slow. Three more. Three. Two. One more. One. Bring it down. And knees into the chest. Very good. We're going to do an oldie, but a 
and double leg lift. This is the ultimate lower out workout. Go ahead and bring it out. Shoulders up from the mat. Inhale, set that belly button in. Exhale, and press the core. Both legs come up for me. Feel free to bend your knees a little bit if you can't keep them straight. Okay, hands behind the head or underneath your, uh, your low back. Here we go. Go ahead and bring it down as low as you can before you change that low back. Don't try to arch. If you do, place a small towel right underneath you or place your hands there. Good. Inhale down. Exhale up. Squeeze that core. Don't let it pop, okay? Bring it down nice and slow. You're doing so good. Who wants nice abs? Me too. Great. A couple more. Very nice. We're going to use it to test. Give a nice hug. We're going to go into a single leg drop, okay? Both legs all the way up. Shoulders up. Hands front. Let's go ahead and drop that left leg. And we're back up to where it started. Alternate. Here we go. Down. And up. Nice and slow. Down. And up. Very good. Keep those shoulders up. Okay, slowly pick yourself up. Grab onto that Swiss ball. 
You guys ready for this? Okay, this one is a very small movement as well, okay? But you are so going to feel it. Clamp your heels onto the sides of the ball. Just make sure you got it nice and tight. Hands by your side. Relax the shoulders, okay? This is all lower body right now. Using your core, bring up that ball. Flex the feet. Now, keeping the legs straight, we're going to twist the legs just like that and then twist them to the other side. That's it. Make sure you're not bending the knees so that you get more of a rotation. That's not important. Keep those legs straight. You can feel those lower abs, just tiny movements, okay? So it feels really good and you know you are working. I am right now. You guys are breathing hard. This is great. Thanks for asking for this belly attack video. I can't believe I'm calling it that. But lower belly attack, lower belly pooch. Oh yes. So good. Give me 10 more rotations. 10, 9, 8, 7. Don't drop that ball. 6, 5. You're strong. 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring that ball all the way down. Very nice. Okay. Go ahead and roll it in. Give that ball to your hands. Reach it right over. We're going to do those ball passes, okay? Now, if you don't have a ball, feel free to just use your yoga block or a pillow or something just to place it between your legs. Something that pass, okay? Inhale through your nose. On the exhale, you're going to peel your back off the mat. You're going to put that ball in between your legs. You're going to slowly roll down, but you don't go all the way down. You're not resting. You're going to be sitting up. And bring it back down. Nice. I'm totally covering. Okay? Totally eating my ass. Nice. You're just going to give me four more. Strong, guys. Be strong. Here's four. Exhale up. Three. Oop. Two. Last one. Very nice. Okay, place that ball back. And inhale through your nose. Flex those feet up towards the ceiling. We're going to do a roll up. And reach those arms tall. Tuck your chin. Slowly reach up. And dive forward. Oh, feels so good. Okay, guys. 